So while an animal cell has a membrane, a plant cell has a membrane and a cell wall. Who cares? Sheldon, what are you doing? Being disrespectful, sir. Oh. How come? Because I'm disillusioned with the school system. Georgie, do you know what's going on with him? Actually, I'm trying to ignore it. Well, get your feet off the desk. What if I don't? I was sent to see Principal Peterson. What is it this time? Youthful rebellion. My voice hasn't changed yet, but my attitude has. I let him know you're here. You do that. Ma'am. Sheldon Cooper's outside. Who sent him now? Givens. Well, you know what? Givens needs to man up. Cooper's a little boy. It's not hard to handle him. I'll send him in. Ho hold on a minute. Does he know I'm in here? Attention, students and faculty. Oh, no. This is Sheldon Lee Cooper. What the hell? We're taught that hard work pays off, but that's not true. I came up with the solution to save Earth from killer asteroids and lost the science fair to Sue Ann Ludlow and her frizzy hair machine. But it wasn't just me who lost, we all lost. Wake up, people. The system's broken. Real innovation isn't valued. Nowadays, it's all about flash and style. I blame MTV. Luckily, my parents can't afford cable. We can afford it. I urge you all to rise up. They can't send everyone to the principal's office. Chew gum in class. Use a number one pencil. Go nuts. This is Sheldon Lee Cooper signing off. Live long and prosper. You better run, you little punk. I can't believe you sent him to bed without his dinner. That's right. On spaghetti and hot dog night. That's rough. He's got to learn. Let's talk about something else. Georgie, how was your day? My brother told the entire school we can't afford cable. Oh, right. Missy? Good until I learn we can't afford cable. I've been thinking, and there's something I'd like to say. Unless it's an apology, I don't want to hear it. I'm quitting science. Not an apology. Spank him, Dad. I'm really getting worried about Shelly. Acting out and now quitting science? Oh, I'm sure you get right back to it. I've quit smoking and gambling plenty of times. Look at my purse. Nothing but cigarettes and scratchers. Maybe he should talk to somebody. Not it. I meant a professional, George. But way to be a dad. Hey, <laughs> welcome back. Thank you for seeing us on such short notice, Doctor. Oh, not a problem. <laughs> Sheldon, I remember you. Do you remember me? I remember everything. OK. Uh, you two make yourselves comfortable. Me and my main man, Sheldon, are going to go have a little chit-chat in my office. I don't like chit-chat, and I'm not your main man. Right on. Have fun. Now, Sheldon, I understand you've changed your mind about being a scientist. And you're going to say I can't? No, I think that's great. You do? Yeah, I think it's important to keep your options open. Let me tell you a little story about an extremely smart young boy. Me? Me. For the longest time, I thought I was going to be a professional figure skater. And then you became disenchanted with the field like I did? Exactly. Someone skated right over my foot, and that was that. I'm not sure that's the same thing. I'd say you lost your passion the way I lost my big toe. Hmm. Don't draw in that. Hey, we're all done. How'd it go? Great, I feel a lot better. Well, that's just wonderful. So you're going back to science? No, in fact, I'm going as far away from science as possible. I plan to pursue the arts. What kind of arts? I've decided to become an actor. Of course you have.